Hey everyone, Adam Sissio here, back again with another story time read for you. Today we're going to be reading a Dr. Seuss book, uh, which typically we wouldn't do, but um, it's one of my favorites. It's, it's a book that I think has a lot of good life lessons. Oh, the places you'll go. Now, this was published in 1990, uh, and it was actually Dr. Seuss's last published work before he passed away. And it was really meant for young adults more than children, but there's also a lot of good life lessons in here about adversity and overcoming things and setting expectations. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's a good lesson at home uh, that you can get the discussion going with your kids about uh, what life brings, how you face it, how you overcome challenges. I think it's a good uh, discussion to have. So we'll get going and, um, and then we'll see if you like it, okay? Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brain in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself to any direction you choose. You are on your own and you know what you know and you will be the guy or girl who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down the streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I do not choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you are too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any that you will go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It is opener there in the wide open air. Out there, Things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along and you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll soon pass the gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best and wherever you go, you will top all of the rest. Except when you don't because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. If you get all hung up in a prickly perch, your gang might fly on and you'll be left in a lurch. And you'll come down from that lurch with an unpleasant bump. And chances are then that you'll soon be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun because unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to the place where the streets are not marked some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. And a place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out or do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or turn right? Or right in three quarters, or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not. I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. And you can get so confused that you'll start into race down long, wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish, wild space, headed, I fear, towards the most useless place, the waiting place. For people are just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no or waiting around for their hair to grow, just like me. <laughs> oh, everyone is just waiting, waiting for a fish to bite or waiting around to fly a kite or waiting around for a Friday night or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig of curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that, not, that waiting is not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy or gal. 
Oh, the places you'll go. There's fun to be done. There are points to be scored, and there are games to be won. And the magical things that you can do with that ball, you'll make the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll be playing against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone is something you will be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance that you'll meet some things that will scare you right out of your pants. And there are some down the road between hither and yon that will scare you so much you won't even want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. And on you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you will hike far, and face up your problems, whatever they are. And you'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact, and remember that life is a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Bucksbum, Bigsby or Bray, or Mordecai Alley, Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Great life lesson. Uh, I think it's one of the better written rhyming books, um, which is really hard to do, and a lot of uh, children's stories aren't um, designed to rhyme. Uh, that's more poetic, but uh, yeah, I think it's a great story about adversity, about what to expect, about having dreams, but not expecting the uh, fame and glory that comes with sometimes uh, pipe dreams like being a superstar athlete or nowadays kids want to be YouTube stars, um, you know, uh, and that there will be adversity and there'll be a lot of joy too and you'll figure it out. So uh, again, I hope you enjoyed our story time read. Uh, you can pick up one of my stories online. Uh, I'm the author of Anxious Andy or Macy's Mirror just came out last month. Uh, so feel free to pick those up and there's more to come too. So I'll keep you guys posted. You can follow me, uh, on Instagram at, at Adam Cicio, That's C I C C I O. And I hope to see you soon at the next one. All right. Bye guys.